Welcome back to Medieval 1100 AD, everybody. We're going to be starting off today's video with the second attack on Nantes. And uh, we had a fight last time. We lost one of our cavalry units, unfortunately. We took some heavy casualties with our cavalry, but we did wipe out the majority of the enemy's fleet. They still, unfortunately, do have quite a large garrison remaining. So... 20% of the enemy are dead from the first battle. We lost a couple of hundred of our own troops this time. We're going to see how much, uh, how many more enemy troops we can take out. Hopefully we can wipe out the remaining uh, fleet if we can. It's one one general there, the king, plus all of these uh, axemen here as well. So let's give it a try and see how much more damage we can do. All right, so we are back at Nantes and we're getting ready to attack for the second time. And uh, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this the second time. I, don't, I obviously want to take care of that fleet. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a better position for me to attack. I'm kind of thinking maybe this side actually is probably going to be better for me to attack for my archers at least. Uh, maybe if I can get some archers along this point. Towers there, I can get some... Highland Archers here, shoot down the walls, something like that. Get my towers in. We have a gate over here as well that we can deal with if we need to. Okay, let's try it from the other side this time. Let's try it from the other side. We might actually entice the enemy fleet to attack us on this beachfront. Uh, okay. And at the very least, we'll do some damage to the enemy's, uh, to the enemy's garrison units. I'm going to put a couple of towers over here. Take those guys there. I'm going to bring everybody off the off the towers for now. So. Although I'm kind of thinking, actually, are they going to land here and attack me? Or are they going to sail past and go there? Because that's where... A that's the closest gate. If they land here, they've got to get through me to get to the gate. So, although this might be the best place for me to attack, it might not be the best place for the to deal with the enemy. I'm not too sure. Hmm. You know what? I'm still going to go with it. I'm still going to go with it. Let's do it. Like I said, at least this way I might be able to get um, a good amount of kills on the enemy's garrison, at least. From my archers shooting at them on the walls. Okay, let's grab our spears. Uh, actually, spears, I'm going to have you over on this side. Pikes. Along with pikes. Archers there. Do I want my war dogs? I might have my war dogs here to go through the gate because I don't think they've got... They haven't got burning oil, so they're fine. So we're good. And then we've got my light cavalry. And then my general with his Italian knights. All right, here comes the first boat. I am very much anticipating them sailing past the port and into there. So I am not expecting these guys to come and land, but... Just in case they do. And all will be well. we got... Oh, they are actually turning towards us. Oh, okay. I think. Archers move. Infantry form up here. Let's get some cavalry... Over here. Heavy cavalry stay out the way for the moment. Do I bring these guys over? Mm, maybe I start running them over. Just in case. I'll bring three of them. They have got an they have got an archer unit in there as well. Oh no, they are they are gonna sail past. They are sailing past. Okay. Right, let's see if we can maybe get some arrows into this lot. 
at least that archer unit, that'd be good. Oh, those archers are getting wrecked. Oh, maybe they're... Nope, they are landing. They are landing. They are coming to land. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, archers pull back. Pull back. Run away. <coughs> pull back from the beachhead. Did we lose anybody? No. We are apparently still taking fire. They are landing here. Okay, so we can at least deal with this enemy fleet. This is going to be good. Cavalry there. Right. So. Guard mode. Took out their bowmen. That's nice. That's nice. We've got the enemy's general here. The king. Oh no, the king's in the town. Sorry, what am I talking about? It's just a random sword unit. Oh, we are going to be outnumbered here. Right, crossbows. Get ready to shoot at the enemy's general. Right, let's start popping shots down into the line. Warm up. And charge. And charge. And charge. Right. We're going to take some heavy casualties here from our for our infantry, but that's fine. Right. Let's get our cavalry out to the flank. Cavalry charging against the enemy general there. Get some spearmen down here into the gaps to try and support. Bring our archers round. Breaking through their line. Breaking through the line. Could even actually run you guys through here. General's attacking there. Cavalry this way. Crossbows, archers. Spearmen get in there. Provide some backup. Get our cavalry to go and support the our general. Actually, no. Turn and charge. Turn and charge. Alright, let's get a nice view down here, shall we? That's quite a cool view. My axes are doing a pretty good job there, I think. Alright, we've Crushed the enemy's general there. Good. My cavalry pull back. I'm not even having to use my archers here, which is great. So we're going to save our ammunition for a little while. Charge into the backs there. Enemy general is broken. Ooh, hello. General's pulling out. Crash into the line. Charge into the line. Oh, we broke the enemy's uh, enemy general's bodyguard there. Good. There we go. Right, that is the enemy navy wiped out. Both enemy generals from those forces have been 
has been eliminated. Excellent work. Well done. Okay, let's line up our archers here. Group one, we're going to line you up back here. And spearmen took a couple of casualties, but nothing substantial. So let's get our spears back over this side to where the gate is. Lovely. So the casualties we've taken with our infantry should be fine because we're going. We've a we've wiped out the enemy's fleet, and b we're going to be going up against um, weakened units on the walls. Hopefully, because of our archers, if we even decide to go for the walls, we may not go for the walls. They have left their general, their king, by this gateway, completely isolated. Skirmishers helping to protect that side. My archers are going to have quite an interesting time against this wall here. And interestingly, the power bar is relatively favourable. Alright, everybody's moving into position. We're bringing our cavalry away. Because if they're going to do anything, they're going to be going up against this gateway. So let's maybe... Uh, I don't really want to risk my pikemen yet. I might send this spear unit. I don't see what the... I can only see this tower. That's weird. It only allows me to see certain towers. Very strange. All right. Let's form up some spearmen over there. We're going to go burn the gates down. I could actually send my mercenary warriors, but I'm not going to for now. So we've got no missiles to deal with over here. So we are actually free to do whatever we want on this wall. So we're going to line our archers up like this. Not sure if my crossbows are going to have the range, but they, they should do. Well done, Cavalry. They did a good job. They did an excellent job. Push up, Spears. Okay, so let's... Hmm. So we're going to approach this gate and we're going to try and burn through it. And then maybe as things start dwindling over here, maybe that's when we'll start attacking the walls. I'm not too sure yet. So crossbows, you... Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use you. I might actually bring you... Do I bring you this way to help in case there's enemy missiles on the walls or something? I'm not too sure. I'll keep you here for the moment, but... Right. Target Osbert with the light swords. 156 he's starting on. Still basically took no damage. There we go. You able to fire at will? Yep, you can fire. Great. Where are you going to be shooting? At the wall piece place. Okay. Oh, now we're starting to do some ca da damage to this light sword unit. Not sure we're going to have enough ammunition to actually do enough damage over here. Fire on those spearmen as well while you're at it. Right, burn the gate. Quite a lot of damage. Okay, so let's get our pikes to move up. <clears throat> going to need our cavalry ready to go as well. Because they're going to charge through the lines and at those missile troops. Uh, see, we're running out of ammunition on our archers now.
We're doing quite a lot of damage, though. They're starting to take units away from this section of wall, which isn't too bad. So I might start... Mounting the tower. Gatehouse is at 61%. Lots of missile units are gathering by this gateway. Plus a spear unit. Hmm. Not sure this is going to be a good idea. Is this going to be a bad idea? Because there's a lot of missile units on there. Around this gateway. Skirmishes are down on the ground there. Hmm. Is it going to be worth me withdrawing and attacking for a second time? Not sure. <clears throat> I might try and break through. Right. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. War dogs move up. Spearmen move up as well. British light spearmen are in there. So I'm basically wanting to unleash the dogs against these units down here. Oh, skirmishes are on the walls now. Oh, this is not good. Pull back. Pull back. Hold. And... Unleash the dogs. Dogs are away. Get inside, get inside. Start targeting the spears. They're being disrupted. Move those guys up. I'm actually going to take these. I kind of feel like I'd want to take these guys away as well, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll move them up for now. lost a few pikemen because we're still having javelins thrown at us at the moment Ooh, this is not working out very well heavy riders we're actually breaking through those light spearmen really quickly so once we break through, we can get our cavalry in. Here comes some more British spearmen. We've got javelin uh, skirmishes throwing at us now. Right, let's get some cavalry in here. Maybe not the general. <laughs> Maybe not the general. Oh, my uh, spears are getting shot at over here. Push through, push through, push through. My cavalry getting wrecked. They are. I think they're running out of ammunition slowly. Come on, light cavalry, push through. There you go. Smashing through them. Ready. 
Come on, push through them. We've actually neutralized the gate's house, so we can actually move our general up a little bit here. But they are now basically evacuating the entirety of this wall to go in and to try and pin me down back here. Right, Cavalry, push through. Come on, Light Cav, come on. Infantry are now there to support, so we should be okay. We're actually breaking a lot of them now. So if I can just get my Cavalry up here. Right, we've shattered them. Okay, so that's good. So... Right, so we're through a gate. A gate. We've got spearmen, spearmen, loads of spearmen. We need to get our cavalry to go and start taking care of these missiles. Unfortunately, they're kind of blocking this road. I'd have to try and force my way through these spears to try and get to them. Keep pushing. Just, just bypass those spears. Don't worry about them. Oh, now they're sending spearmen this way. Oh, we killed the general. Nice. Oh, they're going to send spearmen down all three roads. No. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, right. Well, we've broken through the gate now, so that's great. That's great. Uh, so we can now pretty much launch our attack on these walls without any interruptions. Should probably have told them to start moving a long time ago, but never mind. So, spearmen and light spearmen on the flanks. Let's get light troops inside so I'm actually going to send these two units around here with some cavalry in fact pikemen you don't need to go that way I'm going to try and utilize my pikemen in this gap here Supported with our most complete unit of spearmen. We'll start putting some more spearmen down this side, that side. Try and basically secure the gatehouse, any any possibility of that. Let's get our war dogs in to capture that tower. You guys this way. Let's try and get our crossbows inside as well. Since we have ammunition. Oh, I put my swords in one of those towers. I thought I put my axes in there. Okay, never mind. Yes, we're going to try and deal with this spear unit. Although they are massing all their spears to the one side now. Alright. Power bar is now in our favour. If they're going to send everything that way, I might be able to move my cavalry up this road. We're all coming down this way. Pikes that way. Try and get my cavalry around. Cavalry break through there. hit in the flank quite hard here. Alright, get off the walls. One of them's attacking the missiles. Alright, crossbows. 
get you up on the walls. We're actually capturing the gate as well, which is great. Right, cavalry. Come around this way. We're going to completely outflank this entire enemy force on the side here. Poor dogs capture that. In fact, I'm going to take one of these spearmen this way now. Oh, they're in the entire... Basically, the entire army is starting to waver now. Them. Oh, wow. Okay, this... um wasn't quite... I hadn't actually planned for this to go quite as well as it has done. I'm glad it has, don't get me wrong, but I hadn't planned for it to go as well as this. Smash through these light archers, please. Right, turn you off. Enemy flank is wavering. Skirmishers. Is it skirmishers? No, light archers. Light archers are wavering over there. We're capturing a tower here. Guys over there. Cavalry are breaking through slowly, I think. One of my cavalry is down to five, so they're going to be gone. I've lost a lot of Italian cavalry in this in this war for Brittany, but uh, they have uh, died assisting us in our conquest. That's all we can ask. There we go. Actually, we, we achieved victory. <laughs> wow. Okay. That went far better than I'd anticipated. Brilliant stuff. Well done. Right, everybody. Well done. We have managed to achieve victory at Nantes. We've lost our two communal cavalry and a heavy spear unit. So some heavy casualties. 572 men were lost in this battle. Um, but we have conquered Brittany. And look at the state of the garrison. Most of them have been wiped out. Uh, the Brittany fleet has been destroyed, the enemy king has fallen, and the Nordics were all wiped out in entirety as well. So we're just going to occupy this time. I'm not going to do too much. We got here just before um, Normandy arrived as well, which is great. So Normandy can't take this town. Da -da -da -da. Just got to wait for all of this to process. And there we go. Phew, okay, well, so we have an auxiliary camp. See, now this means we have two auxiliary camps. This gives me elite Highland archers and normal Highland archers. Hmm. Kind of don't need a uh, level three auxiliary, but I want to maintain this one in Rouen because it gives me a bit more of a garrison. So I might get rid of the one in Nantes. At 850, yeah, that's fine. So we'll do that. So, we have British Armoured Swordsman and Auxiliary Frankish Swordsman. The Frankish Swordsman cost nearly half the price. Maybe three quarters of the price of uh, a British Swords unit. Ooh, Auxiliary Armoured Spearman. Nice, they look cool. There's our Heavy Spearman, 134. So, melee attack 39, weapon and damage 26, 40 and 31. 149, 134. Defense of 79, defense of 82. So they have slightly better defense, but slightly less attack, and they cost more in wages. Bonus versus large, 15. Bonus versus large, 19. Armor, 75. Health, 85. Armor, 75. Health, 80. So actually, the auxiliary armored spearmen, I would say they're actually not as good as my heavy spearmen. Oh, auxiliary Frankish skirmishers. Ha ha ha. Not bad, not bad. Lots and lots of units available here. I'm guessing this means that this <laughs> gives me that. Unlocked recruitment of, Brit of British fighting dogs and crossbowmen. Oh. You guy, this building doesn't give, isn't the one that gives me the, uh... We hunger for battle. Gives me these javelins. 
the skirmishers, the heavy skirmishers. Okay, well, we're now down to our last couple of cavalry units. We've lost a spear unit, so I'm thinking we could just replenish a spear. How do I get better cavalry? Level two, level three, level four. So level four gives me noble horsemen. Is that the best it does? Oh, hold on. Oh, the light infantry camp is what gives me these heavy skirmishers. Okay. Um, hmm. Ready for orders. Let's. I mean. Uh, I mean, you get more men in this auxiliary Frankish swordsman unit than the British ones. So the British ones have better stats, but they cost nearly twice as much, and they have forty men less per unit. So I'm kind of feeling like the auxiliary Frankish swordsman might be a nice bonus. Let's go to those mercenaries. Then, of course, we do have our ambush squad. Come. Fight with us. So I might do that then. Okay. See, this is what I don't understand. So we've obviously gone to... There's obviously the Crusades now happening. I was at war. I agreed to go to war with other people to support my uh, you know, nearby fractions, my factions, my neighbours. But now that everything has gone to peace, I now have negative... negative relations with factions that I was... I joined that I sort of stood by in times of war. I now have negative because I was at war with those people, which really makes no sense to me. Very frustrating. Garrison is a little bit battered. <laughs> yeah, did I do that? Probably me. Right, so we now have an edict available. Edict. Uh... Hmm, what's the situation like here? Taxes at negative four and a half percent. Slaves seven point six percent of the population. Banditry is super low though. So okay, so let's try and get bread and games. Let's try and resolve the public order issue. I am yours to that army is slowly dwindling. Well, I say slowly. Actually, they're quite rapidly dwindling. Okay, well, if we look at our victory conditions, cultural victory now have the first two objectives complete. We're on our way towards the Catholic Temple, and we have seven out of five provinces. Not bad, not bad. Okay, next turn, let's see if there's any repercussions. The Kingdom of France has declared war on me. Well, that's great. I'm not going to call my allies into this. Because I kind of feel like my allies might abandon me, so I'm going. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to agree for them to join in this one. Normally, what are you doing? I think I might might need to get uh, my youngest son into Europe. Brittany, are are they raiding or no? They're not. Okay, public order is at 2, 10, and 16, so we're good. So let's march south. We're going to try and get this guy across into mainland Europe. France is just to the south of us. They've got to go through... Well, if they want to get to Rouen or Amiens, they have to go through Paris first, which means aggravating Normandy. Our Normandy... 
Normally you're not at war with anybody. Although, the fact that they're st stood next to Nantes kind of tells me maybe they will be at some point. How are we doing with food? Minus 14. Yep, we definitely need some food. Okay. So... Build me a homestead. Definitely having a little bit of a food crisis. So we go for some auxiliary Frankish cavalry. They actually have better charge than my British Spear Cavalry. In fact, they're slightly better. Alright, get one of them then. At your command. Wondering... Ooh. Upgrade you guys? Nice. So let's maybe try and get our fleet... Maybe round to Nantes just to dock them in there. Maybe to support if we get attacked. Probably moving them too late, to be fair, but never mind. Uh, are you deployed? I am yours to command. He's not deployed. Okay. So I'm going to place you in the woods to the south of Paris. So this is the entire army of Normandy. This is their only army. Interesting. Interesting. How can I assist you? Put you on that side of the river and deploy you. Just keep an eye on that little pass there for me. Uh, and you, my friend, come down to this pass. In point oh, no, there's another general there. Ooh, Frankish heavy swordsmen. They look good. I am a shadow, treading softly. Keep an eye on Poitiers for me. Okay. Normandy against the Holy Roman Empire. Hmm. Well, I didn't call the Holy Roman Empire in. That was probably a mistake. Okay, well, now we're at war in Normandy. Great. It's a good thing I'm trying to get my other son across into Europe. I should have done that a long time ago, to be fair, but never mind. Just have to deal with the cards we've got. Oh, now we're, we're going to be at war with Champagne as well. That's even worse. Goodness me. <laughs> okay, of course, you're being supported by Normandy. Hmm. Garrison is quite buggered. <laughs> Uh, didn't quite manage to finish recruiting, I don't think. No, we did not. We're going up against over 4,000, and we have over 3,000. Brittany should get wiped out relatively quick. It's the army from Normandy that's going to be an issue. All right, here we go. Defense of Nantes. Okay, so, uh, with us occupying, or now conquering this city, we have now added oil to the gatehouse, which is amazing. We've got a load of traps that we can add. Heavy spearmen, heavy spearmen, 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 blah, 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 blah. So we have one, two, three units of British skirmishers. I'm not seeing any archers in there. So we can deploy defenders onto the walls. I don't know where the enemy reinforcements are coming from. I don't know where Normandy's coming from. I have no idea which way they're coming from. Okay. Uh, Sud's Caltrops. Uh, do I want to deploy it? I suppose I do. Unfortunately, I have no other gate this side for me to get my cavalry out, as we've already spotted in this battle. British heavy riders. Lots of British heavy cavalry. Hmm. 
lots of infantry. Okay. Let's deploy some caltrops on the ground here. In fact, deploy some there. And then wooden stakes there. I'm actually going to take the caltrops off. Could deploy uh, some fireballs up here. That could be interesting. Top of the stairs. <laughs> Can't even see them because of the stairs. Ah, I thought I had them all there then. Damn it. There we go. At least I can see them and they're on the edge of the stairs. I'm hoping that will work. Okay, so let's grab. All of my garrison archers are basically going to occupy these heights here. And you're going to basically support Understood. against the wall there. Okay. Do I want to put my units on the wall right now, or do I want to kind of let them arrive? I suppose I kind of want to let them arrive. Are they going to send a cavalry to the gate to burn through it, maybe? Possibly. Possibly. I can't get around the city with my cavalry. So I couldn't send them out of the gates and go around at all. Hmm, okay. Medium infantry, medium infantry. I don't know how I want to do this. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I want to try and defend the tower and the gatehouse as best I can. So if I have these guys here and basically just allow the enemy to land here and use my archers to support this gap, cover this gap in missiles, maybe have my skirmishers nearby too. Okay, then I can keep some ambushes here, ready for those units, for those fireballs there. I'm going to have some pikes. Uh, I suppose I want to try and protect my line as best I can. Uh, I suppose I'll go here. It's a nice narrow point. Not where I wanted to put you. There we go. Form phalanx. Forming their phalanx there. Keep that gap covered. Maybe have another spear unit on this side. Chosen spears. And then I want to keep my spears and my axes here. Just in case the enemy reinforcing army from Normandy decides it's going to come in from the other side of the map. Just in case. Keep these archers at the back as well. Missile infantry at your command. Okay. Heroic riders. We'll kill them all. 
And there we are. Okay. Let's do that. Let's see how this goes. Enemy reinforcements are unknown. Oh, there they are. They are coming from this side. Okay. Well, this could go terribly, terribly wrong and not in my favour whatsoever. Here comes the enemy reinforcements. We are outnumbered. Missile armed warriors. Chosen spears. Pikemen. I don't even know if those fireballs are even going to work, to be honest. But <laughs> they could be absolutely useless. Okay, so we probably want to start moving our spears and everything. So let's get some spearmen down here. Send a couple of axes this way. I mean, ideally don't go down there, but go that way. Keeping one Axeman in reserve, which I'll use with these Ambush Squad units. Thankfully, we've got burning oil, so they're going to start setting fire to my gates. Oh, they're even going to land on the tower. Goodness me. That's it. Or they just... No, they're not even going to go for the gates. Oh, goodness me. I thought they would. There we are, decimating those first Spearman units. There we go. Very nice. Get these spears to go this way. Go over here. Nobody going for my gates at all. Interesting. Who's wavering? Why are you wavering? Oh, because you're getting slammed by everybody. Okay, so I don't even need the minimap open. Let's save some space on the screen. Let's get our Highland Archers to go over here. Cavalry, I'm going to bring you out of the way because you're kind of blocking the gaps. Got this light, these light archers here at the moment. I kind of want to save my skirmishes, but I think I might need to use them up. I'll get them, come on. At the very least, Brittany is going to get wiped out. Nicely done. Target the next spear. Push through them. Um, you guys, can you target that unit, please? Just shoot them in the back. Perfect. Thank you very much. Enemy spearmen are now landing on the tower there. Uh, on the wall. Right, skirmishes. Uh, I'm going to kind of use you... In assistance with the gate, I think, maybe. Yeah, right. Our infantry have completely broken 
by the tower. Which is not great. So I'm going to need to bring some more axes this way. Might even have to bring some pikemen over there as well. Just to assist a little bit. I'll move these spearmen up as well. So power bar is still sort of enough over there. Bring in... Oh, they've got cavalry at the back there. It's not really moved at all. Gate is kind of not secured right now. Shoot these units in the back. Yeah, we're getting wrecked on the walls here. Come on, shoot those shoot those enemy spear units. Moving up. Yeah, guys, just keep keep sending arrows into this into this section here. Uh, crossbows, you can just fire at will, I think. Again, I don't know what's wrong with poor Will. Like, he seemed to have a vendetta against him. But never mind. How many times am I going to make that joke? Probably too, too many. <laughs> all right. Let's get these axes over here. I suppose you can do whatever you want. Just have some fun. Once these guys have run out of ammo, we'll move our other archers up. I can't even tell if you're shooting, crossbows. Um, right, let's move these guys out the way. Are you shooting at anybody? You're not shooting at anyone. Target those light archers. There you go. Firing. Oh, you guys have basically run out of ammo for some reason. You're not shooting at all. Right, let's move my other Highlander archers up. I don't know why you guys aren't firing. Just fire down into the pile. There you go. That's what we like to see. Oh, they're fine. Right, if my Highland Archers could hurry up a little bit. Right, I'm going to have to turn you off because you are aggravating me. Thank you. Right. Skirmishers. Why are you wavering? You're not even... Why are you even wavering? I don't understand why you're wavering. You're not even in the fight. 
lot of cavalry out there still. I say still, they haven't, they haven't been able to do anything yet. Right, um... Target the Norman Axemen. While well, we've got them isolated on the wall. Fire into the backs there, please. There you go. Slowly but surely, you'll be knocking their numbers down. We have a unit wavering over here. Let's get in there. Move the pikes up. Look at that. We are almost... We've almost cleared this entire flank here. Almost cleared this entire section of wall, which I think is fantastic. We'll just finish them off. Power bar is about 70% in my favour, maybe 60%. There you go. Hold fire, hold fire. Right. Reclaim the gate. Right. Island archers. Let's... Uh, we're going to need to drop some arrows down here, aren't we, really? Try and bring our lines back a little bit here. Try and give our archers a little bit more space. We're going to lose axes here, unfortunately. Try and sacrifice just one axe unit if possible. Do you have any Norman axes on the ground here? Mercenary warriors, Frankish swordsmen. Some Norman axes down in there. Start picking off the individual units. Right. Uh, you two are out of ammo, so let's pull you all the way back. I think we have it. I, had, I think we have this battle. I think we have this battle. Goodness gracious. What a mess on the walls. We're going to lose heavy, heavy losses here, but uh, it's time to try and burn the gate now. Chosen spears. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Yep, here we go, here we go. They're starting to break. Start targeting those units at the back. Push back forwards. Let's go. Unleash the dogs. Dogs are away. Skirmishers, turn around. Get involved. There we go. Dogs are in there. Infantry are in there. Nice. Gates are slowly being burned down. The cavalry has realised that they are not winning the fight. They're trying to get in. They're trying to get in. I think we can replace a lot of our troops with uh, the barracks that we have in this build in this city. Unfortunately, we don't have um, the ability to get axes in this city, but. My crossbows, what are you doing? Double time! Missile of Bullets! Island Archers! Uh, 
All right, enemy lines are breaking. Let's hold fire now. Push forward, push forward. Let's try and wreck their lines. All of these enemy troops pinned down in there. Probably causing a lot of friendly fire damage, but there we are. Oh, that volley just wiped out a good eight or so. Not bad. Broken. Well done. Well done. Break through. Do not. Do not guard. Do not guard. Just smash through those lines. We have the gatehouse still. Excellent. Let's maybe move these spin along there. Part of the dogs are chasing. Well done, dogs. Good boys. Good boys. So now we're just waiting on this gatehouse to be burnt down by the enemy's cavalry. They've got some archers still outside. Target those mercenary. Or are you going to fire into the pile down? Oh, you're going to fire down there. Okay, let's not do that. Oh, they're broken anyways. That's fine. Excellent work. So we're just waiting on the gatehouse to be breached. There's the burning oil. Enemy units are wavering. Normandy's regretting their choice at coming to assist Brittany. Alright, group one. Pull back away from the front. Let's have a look at what the damage is here. Goodness me. We lost a full axe unit in that battle. We'll have to replace them. We'll have to, if we want to get axes, we'll have to go back to uh, Amiens. So we'd actually be able to bring our youngest son to Europe, recruit some axes and bring them across to this army. We've actually got some British axes as well with our youngest son. I can't remember his name. Is it uh, Komaka? Komaka? I think it was his name. It's me. Yeah, we can get, use his axes to reinforce. Has the enemy general died at any point? Entire units have been perishing. That's fine. You're not even, not even hitting the gate. Oh, William. Ooh, okay. There goes the Brittany general. Oh, he's come back. Kind of want to take some spearmen out. Get Sally out. Let's go. Let's go for it. Go, heavy spears, go. Oh, I've gone into slow motion. Attack William. Go for William. He's wavering. Spears have charged out to... He tries the enemy cavalry. Are we going to get William? Taking out most of his retinue, well, some of his retinue there. All right, spearmen form up in front of the gate. Don't chase them away. Hold your positions. There we go. Completely broken. Well done, everybody. We managed to ser we managed to defend our new acquisition. There we are. We lost both of our axe units and they were gold chevron as well rank seven and rank eight that's going to be a little bit painful but with our heroes still in the army any new recruits that we get should hopefully uh, gain experience quite quickly so the Brittany army has been all but destroyed a few cavalrymen survived so they'll be off into the countryside to try and scrounge up whatever living they can find in terms of normandy uh william 
Ju- uh, well, he's not the king, but William has managed to survive with all of his cavalry. Uh, one archer unit as well, but the rest of his army has been absolutely annihilated. I'm guessing that normally he's probably going to regret joining in the war there. Uh, we lost pretty much all of our infantry from the garrison. Uh, we still got all of our missiles, which is good. And once again, Everard has proven his command capabilities. Uh, I'm going to release the prisoners. A, it gives me a load of money, and B, it helps to improve diplomatic standing now. Probably not with the Holy Roman Empire, but um, otherwise that's fine. Renilda has come of age. Lovely. The Duchy of Brittany has been destroyed. Othmar has leveled up. Edgar Probus has a triumph. He's not the one doing all the work, but okay. There's Othmar. Okay, so we want to protect you from local agents if we can. So... Uh, da, 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 da. Either of these? Any of these? Minus 5% chance of successful enemy agent actions. But it does reduce your movement campaign range, campaign map range, but I'm going to go with it. I want to keep you safe. Plus 9 to public order here. Lovely stuff. So we could replace our axes with swordsmen. I would prefer axes if possible. Plus 10, plus 16, plus 19. Yay. Mm. Might as well expand that now in Edinburgh. So, Amiens is on plus one. Excellent. Ruan, you're doing okay. Get that food producing. Okay, let's go attack these guys. Let's go wipe them out. Spoils a battle. Thank you very much. So that is Normandy's army defeated. I'm going to execute them this time. Hold on, Everard. Okay, plus 10 public order. When he's outside. Um... This is all about experience on recruits. Could improve. I already gave them a bit of a morale boost for defending a settlement, I think. Or maybe I didn't. Melee defense skill. Melee attack skill. Oh yeah, maximise it, why not? And we'll actually get a little bit of the... I could improve upkeep. Let's do the melee defence as well, get that up a little bit more. Back into town, thank you. Oh, they only have one emblem. Kind of feel like I shouldn't call these guys the Golden Spears. How about Scotland's finest? Uh, in which case, I don't think I'm going to need my fleet to go down and assist with the uh, garrison here. So let's take the fleet back to Dorchester. Could grab some more axes, I suppose. Forty-six and thirty-five, fifty-two and thirty-nine. Mm, kind of want them, really, don't I? Ooh, these auxiliary axe warriors are expensive for this general. Kind of deciding, depending on whether. Oh, maybe I'll get rid of this. 
There we go. Get to here. Cross into Europe. Uh, there we go. That's a lot quicker. Okay, well done. Right, so he is now on land in Europe. Excellent, we have both sons there. Right, we have a, a daughter who is... Oh, you can marry. Get that done. Right, Romilda. Let's see. Can I maybe marry you off to anybody? Is that is that an option? Holy Roman Empire? Need of talk, no. Sure. Do not attempt. Normandy? Speak. No interest in peace whatsoever. We have need of talk, I'm sure. And uh, let your words move me to anger or agreement. Okay. We will gladly listen to your offer. No, that's fine. All right. So. Poitiers is there with a garrison army of 12 and a garrison itself of 20. Nine spears, seven light spears, and four light archers. Okay. Paris would be a good one to take. Three Frankish veterans, one riders with spears, ten spearmen, and six light archers. I'll take some swordsmen. We can get our army across to Paris quickly. That'd be great. Right, this is going to be a slightly longer episode than normal, but we're going to we're going to carry on. Right? No, okay, they're starting to recruit at Paris. That's a shame. Ah, that's a pity. It'd have been nice to have uh, been able to attack Paris without that army being there. I didn't actually have a look or pay any attention to see if Normandy and France were at war with each other. They are not. Normandy is not at war with France. I am a ship, swift and silent. Frankish swordsman. And a load of cavalry. Interesting general set up there. He's a Frankish spear cavalry unit and he is a Frankish heavy cavalry unit. Oh. Mine are just noble horsemen. <laughs> Ooh, you don't like having somebody in your town. Outside range. At once. Damn, how are you outside of the settlement range? Commander. March. Oh, they, you're in range there. I had to be really, really close up. 239, goodness me, your ability is rubbish. Okay, let's see if I got anything that allows you to have either better upkeep costs or recruitment costs. Ah, go with that one. I'll do that one as well. 
I mean, I could just go for a, like a cavalry-based army. <laughs> That'd be quite interesting. Hmm. Grab some cavalry. Why not? Let's make a small cavalry force. All right, we'll do one more turn. And then we'll bring this episode to a close. Oh, France, you fought somebody. Who did you fight? Who did you fight? Do you have a rebellion, maybe? Is that maybe who you fought? I thought I was the only, the only one at war with you. I am. So, who did you fight? You must have been, must have been rebels. Must have been rebels. Okay, construction complete. Amiens and Rouen both have their uh, religious buildings completed. Wow, you took some heavy casualties. Leave you in the town for now. Ready for orders. Soldiering. It's a good life. Get a small force building. Definitely want to take out Paris. Paris and Poitiers uh, Bourges is over here. So it'd be the it'd be Paris, Poitiers, and Bourges. These three places here. I'm probably mispronouncing that completely, but there we are. Uh, so yeah, Scotland's finest will probably be the ones to to sort of do that. Uh, Defenders of the Faith are slowly building some troops up. I'm going to have them as a sort of scout force. Really, they're not going to really do much. They're kind of just going to kind of go between Amiens and Rouen just to protect the provinces a little bit to add a little bit more of a garrison as we go because obviously we are at war with the county of champagne but if we can get scotland's finest across to paris and deal with this if we can get our troops to maybe lie in ambush out here maybe take out this army along the way that'd be great see where that army goes if it heads up towards rouen i mean if we go into ambush that army might the ai might think oh they've they've gone so we can go to one of these three places let's go to nantes rouen or amiens and they might leave if they come this way we can ambush them if they head north we can attack Paris with just the garrison, stuff like that. So we could do things that way. Let's have a look. Yeah, garrison is uh, is relatively okay. Can't see what the army is made up of over here. So let's pop back across the river. Heavy swordsman. Mm. Troublesome. Troublesome indeed. Right, guys, that's where we're going to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the double battle at Nantes. Uh, very, very interesting siege defense. But uh, yeah, overall, a very, very good result. Brittany has been uh, neutralized. We've secured the province. We're well on our way towards the cultural victory. So fingers crossed we'll get there soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time.